Hey, it's Jamie, the Urban Wine Buff, and welcome to season two of Alphabetically Wine. Today's letter is the letter B, and B is for Botrytis. Botrytis scenaria, also known as noble right. Now I know you're wondering why is Jamie telling us about a fungus? Why is she telling us about rotten grapes? But if you like sweet wines, it's actually a good thing. So I'm gonna tell you more about what it is, what kind of wines are affected by them, where you can get it, what it tastes like, and all that good stuff. Just, just stay with me, okay? Let's get started. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so Botrytis or Noble Rye. Um, it doesn't affect all wine grapes. In certain regions, um, they are more prone to having this fungus. You have to have the right combination of humidity in the morning, sunlight and heat in the, in the afternoon that come together and just create the environment for this fungus to thrive. All right, so it's really not nice to look at is it's a gray mold that covers the grape and what it does is it makes the grapes really um, thin and weak and all the water from the grape is evaporated and it leaves behind just concentrated sugars so these grapes result in wines that are very very lusciously sweet you just have a really beautiful dessert wine that is made from these grapes Let's continue. Okay, so as previously stated, Botrytis wines or Noble Rot wines are dessert wines. So if you are a sweet wine lover, you want to try one of these at least once or twice in your life, okay? So you're gonna find these wines in the dessert section of the wine store. You're not going to find them like in Publix or Aldi or Walmart or Target. You have to go to an actual um, wine store to get these wines, all right? Some of the more common Noble Rot wines are Sauterne. You might have heard me talk about this before. It's from the Sauterne region of France and it's like, it's just a beautiful wine. It tastes like honey, it tastes like money, it tastes like uh, apricot, peaches. It's just really, really good. Another one is um, the Baradoff Laser Rieslings from Germany as well as the Trock and Baron Auslese Rieslings from Germany. Now, if you've heard me speak before, you know that Germany has like different levels of sweetness. These Baron Auslese and the Trock and Baron Auslese um, levels are the, are the sweetest of the sweet from those regions. And those wines are affected by the Botrytis or Noble Rot fungus. You also have another wine from Hungary called Tokai Azu. And those grapes there, they're just like um, local grapes to the region and they are affected by this fungus. And like I said, it results in really sweet, just rich tasting um, dessert wines. So you, you really do want to try this if you are a sweet wine lover. You have to try it, okay? Now these wines are a bit more pricey than your typical wines. Um, one reason being that it takes more grapes to make a bottle of wine. And also is that each grape is just hand picked. So the, the Botrytis fungus doesn't always attack like the whole cluster of grapes. It might be a grape here, a grape there. So the people actually have to go through the vineyard and look and pick the specific grapes from the vine that are affected by the by the fungus. So that is laborious and that adds into the price of the wine as well. So oftentimes you're going to see these wines come in smaller bottles like the Sauterne um, is typically sold in the, the 375 milliliter bottle rather than your typical 750. Um, the one that I have in front of me is the Baron Oz laser recently and it's either it's even smaller than the Sauterne. This is 187 milliliters and this was $27. So yeah, like if you want to splurge a little bit, that's that's when you when you buy these wines, but I promise you that they are so worth it. Okay, so when you are indulging in these wines, you want to pair them with something that is also sweet because sweet wines, dessert wine, it's a dessert wine, right? So you put it with your typical desserts. You might want to do a cheesecake. You might want to do strawberry shortcake. You might want to do some kind of fruit dish, um, but it can also go with 
other foods as well because I know not, not everybody wants to have all that sweetness at one time. So you can also pair these wines with, uh, with regular foods, but I would go with something that has something like a glaze or some kind of sweet and tangy sauce or something like that. It's really, really good. It's really, really like luxurious like when you taste this like you you can't just gulp it down like it's like a sophisticated sweet it's not like the typical like moscato sweet like it's a different kind of sweet and you just want to just sip it and savor it and for that reason you're also going to have it served like in a smaller glass like you cannot just drink like a, a regular um glass of this because it's so rich and it's so sweet um, and it's expensive too. So you want to just sip and savor this wine and you really want to enjoy it. So that is my spiel on Botrytis slash Novarite wines. Um, let me know what you think. Have you ever had one before? What did you think of it? Go ahead and leave your comments below and like, share, follow, subscribe, all of that. And meet me at the next video. Let's go.